the first fall month of 2022. I'm very excited about this. It's uh, my second favorite season after summer. So it's fun to write some songs for it. Um, once again, I'm at a loss for words. So intro. This song dates back to March of this year. I actually wrote it right after I wrote the merch song. And I was in a very nostalgic mood back then because we were just moving and we had been living in that previous house ever since we moved here to America. So it was 10 years, basically almost 10 years of living in that same house. And a lot of things happened. And you know, I, I really pretty much grew up in that house almost, you know, from a teenager to a young adult. So a lot of, um, very pivotal moments in my life were attached to being in the house so i was a very emotional nostalgic mood and i was came up with this melody and i remember i was playing it um on the piano without me singing just the melody which is kind of what i like to do to test out different songs and like if, if it works with me just playing the like main melody on piano without anyone singing it and it still sounds good then you know it's it's worth me continuing this song so that's what i was doing with this september track and as i was playing it on the piano it was just me and my brother um at home in at that point and he comes into the living room he was working from home he was like brought his laptop and he was like oh man i just had to come here that sounded so nostalgic and i was like perfect love it i was so excited that he used the word nostalgic because that was sort of like my overarching mood that i wanted to capture in the september song because you have all this post-summer nostalgia and you have you feel very sentimental about the incredible summer months that you had just spent so my main word and emotion to capture for the September song was nostalgia so I was very excited that that came through and um, here is verse one if spring is the season that wakes me alive the fall is the season to contemplate life oh. verse came together simply because, like I said, I had just written the March song, and so this first verse of the September song is a direct reference to the March song. I think there's a parallel between spring and fall, so I was like, why don't we do a reference to that song? So here the words are, if spring is the season that wakes me alive, then fall is the season to contemplate life. Um, and that's so true! I feel like always, and maybe it's it's the gloomy weather, the, the leaves turning brown, the cozy sweaters, warm cups of coffee, that just put you in that contemplative, moody, nostalgic vibe. And uh, that's basically what that first verse talks about. Pre-chorus. Dark roast coffee, salt mist and sea, sand and amber trees. The whole September song, you know, my vision for it was to talk about the nostalgia in transitioning between summer and fall. Because to me, that's just such a big moment every year. I um, I feel like summer is always so carefree and part of it is the absence of school, the long days, the warm nights, the, the sunshine, and it just feels like it's one of the most um, rejuvenating, sort of uh, carefree spirited times of the year. And then fall comes and school starts back up again, the colder weather starts sneaking in. Um, and September I think is that month of duality, um, duality, duality, duality. Um, and so I wanted to uh, talk about some things that are very um, quintessentially summer versus some things that are quintessentially fall, because I think that's the month where those things collide. So dark roast coffee, that just immediately makes me think of fall, you know, cups of steaming hot coffee. Uh, dark roast coffee, salt mist, and sea. Now that's a very summer thing. Salt, uh, sand, beach, and amber trees. So it's this um, juxtaposition of these two, of two contrasting seasons. Chorus! Cause it still feels like summer, but it's soaked in nostalgia slowly. All the leaves are turning brown. Cause it still feels like summer, and I simply don't wanna sit down. Go and sneak. Say goodbye to summer. So I grew up 
in Slovenia and school in most of Europe starts um, on the 1st of September or, you know, if it's a weekend, then the Monday after that. Um, but in, so September is marked as beginning of the school year for everyone. And this, but the weather doesn't immediately start getting cold as soon as it turns September 1st. Um, so there's still some of that summer mood that trickles into the school spirit. And I remember so vividly walking to school multiple times, multiple years in, in many grades, um, wearing a dress that I had worn during the summer. Um, and it's so interesting because that dress, it had all these summer memories attached to it, you know, running around um, at a coastal town or eating ice cream in the city center um, at 11 p.m. because it was so warm. And then to have that, those memories attached to that dress put into a completely different context environment of a school um, it was just a very unique, like almost sad nostalgic feeling and to me that's really what what this song is is, is is that transition the the play between two different um seasons and the same thing happens then in the chorus it still feels like summer but it's soaked in nostalgia because i think it's still warm but it, everywhere around you are all these memories of the things that you had just experienced and the sadness for the fact that now they're gone and you and life moves on you know and say goodbye to summer then Verse two. What is verse two? I keep on forgetting to learn how to fly, and before I know it, it passes me by. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. When life is beautiful, I start to fear it'll slip through my fingers and just disappear. Oh, yeah. Back and forth through. More of like a contemplative work verse. Um, you know the the. Idea of contemplating of fall being a contemplating season is first brought up in the first verse. So I wanted to sort of expand on that in the second verse. Um, and that is that um, even though I, I know that I have to live or have to, I know I'm trying my best to try and live in every single moment, um, I still keep it's so easy to forget that we only get to experience every second of our lives once. And you keep on forgetting time has learned how to fly, and before you know it, it passes you by. And it's also sort of a reference to the January song where I talked about that one of my resolutions is to see beauty in all of the little things and try to live fully in every single day. When life is beautiful, I start to fear it'll slip through my fingers and just disappear. Um, and that is sort of like a two part loaded verse. One is it's a reference to slipping through my fingers by um, ABBA, which is one of my all time favorite songs. I just think it's one of the greatest songs ever written. Um, and it's because it is so easily understandable and it captures such a uh, quintessential human experience and feeling that is so in incredibly timeless and captured so well. Um, the idea of time passing us by and us not fully living in it and you know that the regret and the heartbreak that comes with that. It's, every time I hear that song it just oh it makes me cry just thinking about it, it makes me tear up. Um, that and then I don't know why every time life gets beautiful. So whenever I feel like the moment that I'm experiencing is incredible, the first thing I always think about is, oh my god, oh my god, something's gonna go wrong, <laughs> or it's gonna end because this is too perfect. And so it's a, a marriage of those two ideas in the second verse. Um, last thing, bridge. If life is an ocean wave, I'll stand on the shore and wait. ago that I finished this bridge and this was already at the point where I knew I wanted to make this song sort of country inspired um, because to me country is just such a nostalgic genre and I've always wanted to sort of dip my toes a little bit into it and I feel like with all the songs this year we've explored so many different like subgenres of pop so I thought it'd be kind of fun to try and bring in some country with this one so when I was uh, like producing the draft version of the song I had like this big um acoustic guitar riff that goes throughout the entire song and it feels very country in the production um, and so this bridge also the melodies are very very country um, and the lyrics are if life is an ocean wave I'll stand on the shore and wait um, aka life 
you, you let life take you away. You know that ocean wave is about to hit you, so why not try to, don't try to fight it, but let it happen. Panoramic point of view, it paints a different kind of view. So that goes back to the idea, you know, metaphorically standing on a shore. And if you see yourself from far away, you get to, you know, bird's eye view, it sort of gives you a different perspective on life in, in the sense that you don't focus so much on the little everyday things, but you get to see the bigger picture. And nothing's permanent with change. Waves never crash in the same place. There's really not much you can do, but more will let the residue. Which is, you know, and this was one of the hardest things for me to accept you know, growing up and realizing that things will change. And I'm a very, um, I, I love planning. I'm a very organized person, if you will. And so change has always scared me. <laughs> I like routine. I like having things happen every single day. And I like having everything like worked out and knowing how things are going to play out. Um, and so it, I'm still having a hard time now and then accepting change um and so this bridge is sort of an ode to that saying that nothing in life is permanent the only thing that is permanent is change it's kind of like a play on you know permanency is really the opposite of change and so saying the only thing that permit that's permanent in life is change is kind of like a plan of words um waves never crash in the same place back to the metaphor of, of being on the shore and life being a wave there's really not much you can do but marvel at the residue aka life should change is going to happen you know so fighting it is counterproductive instead you should marvel at the residue in this case i'm talking about you know metaphorically the tracks that the waves leave on the beach or in life that you marvel at the beauty that change brings and accepts it last thing is the classical music interpolation in this song is by giacomo puccini aka O mio babino caro, which is like an operatic area, aria. Um, and it is included in the back vocal melody and the strings melody in the transition between the second verse and the bridge. Which is that, but in O. Um, I don't know what that was, I hope that made sense. That is our September song and oh my god, boy am I excited about the October song. That one is so fun. It's the most fun out of all of them. I just finished the production for it this week, so <laughs> anyway, see you then. Um, don't be too nostalgic. Enjoy the change. We love it. Bye! Cause it still feels like summer, but it's